When Overwatch announced Sojourn, I was a little bit perplexed because I saw her design and everything that she did and it made me realize they copied me. Everybody knows that I'm a cyborg. That's just like, duh. But look at my thunder thighs. And on top of that, I've been sliding everywhere since day one. Come on, I do slip and slides. I slide across the street. I slide cross country, internationally. Blizzard, come on. You haven't seen anybody slide like I have. You had to have copied me. I even slid into YouTube's DMs and I asked for a figurine and they were like, no. How about a plushie? My cute macro plushies are officially out right now. They're adorable, handsome, and they're a noob. It's everything you would ever want in a plushie. If you want to pre-order one of these plushies, click the link in the description down below while supplies last because these are limited edition and after they sell out, I will never be selling them again. So buy one today, links in the description. But now let's start the video. Sojourn is the first damage hero added to Overwatch 2. Her real name is Vivian Chase, and she was actually a part of Overwatch during its golden age, becoming a captain for the team. When she was younger, she joined the Canadian military and volunteered for the cybernetic enhancement programs. Throughout her life, she has had a ton of cybernetic upgrades to her body, making her a cyborg like Genji. Her legs and her arms are cybernetic, with her arms having cannons on them and her legs having thrusters. I guess you could say that these upgrades costed her an arm and a leg. <gasps> What? Come on. She's even received cybernetic brain upgrades, making her more accurate in combat and better than everybody at card games. That's not even a joke. She actually is just better than everyone at card games. While in Overwatch, Jack Morrison, who at the time was the commander of Overwatch, died. So she became acting commander after his apparent death. Unfortunately, she would have to be the one to testify for Overwatch at the IJC after the aftermath between Reaper and Jack Morrison's fight, where it was ultimately decided that Overwatch should be disbanded. She laid low in Canada until Winston recalled Overwatch and she immediately joined the fight. Now she helps lead the new Overwatch team alongside Winston. Pretty straightforward backstory. She's a no-nonsense soldier. What's more to say? But now that you know who Sojourn is, let's learn how to play her, shall we? Sojourn's weapon is a railgun. This gun shoots fast projectiles, so fast that it feels like a hit scan sometimes even though it's a projectile, and each shot does 9 damage. It's just a simple assault rifle that's great for racking up damage. Absolutely nothing of note to talk about here. Thanks for watching! Okay, all jokes aside, when her gun shoots enemies, even barriers and enemy equipment, it will charge her secondary fire. And this is essentially a laser. It can do as little as 30 damage and as much as 130 damage. And this can also headshot, which means at full charge, it's like getting shot by a Widowmaker. This is the core of her kit. You shoot people to charge your secondary fire and then you use the laser to secure kills. It's great against enemies trying to fight you 1v1 or enemies trying to flank you or Reddit Lucios who think they're going to 1v5 the whole team. Like seriously, Lucio, calm down! Against shields, you can easily charge up your laser to full and save it for when the shield is broken. You can't save this laser forever though, as it does go away if no more energy is gained after 6 seconds. So use it or you lose it. Boom, boom, boom. Laser. 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 Her first ability is her power slide. This ability allows for her to slide pretty far, up to 16 meters every 6 seconds. And after she's done sliding, she can jump super high. So if you like how you get momentum from sliding in Apex, it'll feel like that times 100. It's so good for ducking, dipping, and dodging around. You can slide forwards, backwards, or side to side. It's like the cha-cha slide! You can use it aggressively to push a fight, or you can use it to escape with your life. The jump goes pretty high, so getting to normally unreachable places is not not too hard for Sojourn. Her movement is also really good for catching up with flankers, like flanking tracers or flanking Torbjorns? Torb? Is that a Torb? Unfortunately, like most people, you can't slide out of traps, so uh, just don't get trapped, duh. Her final ability is Disruptor Shot, aka the Mini Graviton Surge. She shoots out this mini grav thing that damages enemies in its radius and slightly slows them. It can be shot up to 30 meters away every 15 seconds. This ability is so great for racking up damage 
damage, especially when you use it at choke points. People will try and avoid it, which can help push enemies in the direction you want them to be in. It's also solid for picking off weakened enemies, trying to escape, and you'll find yourself accidentally killing people with it all the time. This ability can stick on walls or ceilings, which can help kill enemies on the high ground. Since it slows down enemies, it makes hitting your secondary fire a lot easier. To be honest, this ability is pretty annoying. It's fun to use, but being on the receiving end makes me want to scream. Her ultimate is Overclock. This ultimate makes it so your railgun is 100% charged super fast for 9 seconds, which means you can straight up spam your secondary fire, and while the ultimate is up, it will pierce through enemies. This ultimate in the right hands is super strong. But in the hands of a noob without any aim skills, it'll just make you feel sad. However, once you get a hang of it, you'll be wiping teams with it. This ends now. Well, since Blizzard basically designed Sojourn after me, it's my duty to give you these pro tips. So listen up. Number 1. Sojourn pairs very well with basically every healer. Mercy's damage boost in Zenyatta's Discord Orb makes her secondary fire an instant kill on basically every hero. But I want to point out specifically Ana and Batiste. Ana's Nana boost and Batiste ultimate can make her secondary fire kill even tanks in one hit. Normally, the Roadhog takes three whole headshots. It's only two with Batiste's ultimate. Number 2. Even though her main gun isn't a hitscan, her secondary fire is. So if you're having an issue with an Echo or a Far Mercy, Sojourn is actually a pretty solid counter. Number 3. Sojourn's Disruptor Shot is actually very good to combo with other ultimates, like Zarya's Graviton Surge and Orisa's new ultimate. Because it has a slow effect and does a decent amount of damage, it can help trap people from escaping really strong ultimates. So if you see a big ultimate coming out from your tanks, make sure to throw that Disruptor Shot in the middle of it. Number 4. She also actually pairs very well with Dive Combo positions since her movement is pretty incredible. So Jern's entire kit is perfect for flanking. Getting a clean kill on a support in the backline can help your team push the enemy team. Essentially, so Jern does what Widowmaker does, but better. She has the ability to essentially snipe while still having the ability to hold her own in a close to mid-range 1v1. Not to mention, you'll find yourself out widowing widows a lot. Bonus tip that I learned towards the end of all this, one of my buddies told me that you should switch your primary and secondary fires because it's a little more natural to shoot hit scans with your left click and everything else with your right click. I don't know if this makes a big difference on controller, but if it does, maybe switch your secondary and primary fire. So if you follow these pro tips, you'll find yourself winning plenty of games with Sojourn and sometimes even getting play of the game. Ah, I finally! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. What is that What are you doing? Oh I wish this was ranked. That'd be so good. No one will know. You're right. Sojourn is a pretty interesting addition to Overwatch. While I do appreciate that characters in photos like this are finally getting a full-on character, I'm waiting for this guy to get his own backstory though, I can't help but feel like they didn't really flesh out Sojourn that much. Playing her is a ton of fun, but her actual story and lore feels very underwhelming. She's honorable like Soldier 76, but with none of the rich backstory that Soldier has, like the rivalry he has with Reaper, or the fact that he came back as a vigilante. Honestly though, that's okay. Not every character is going to have this crazy epic backstory. Sometimes you just want heroes to be heroes. But how is she for noobs? For noobs, I would honestly say that she's medium difficulty to play. The hardest part about her kit is just being good at aiming. Everything else about her kit is very straightforward and can be learned with ease. But what do you think? Have you tried out Sojourn? And if so, do you think she's easy to play or hard to play? Do you think she's overpowered and needs nerfs or underpowered and needs buffs? Let me know in the comments down below. Personally, I do think she needs a slight nerf because she's just like a better version of Widowmaker and Soldier. Okay, I gotta go slide into next week's video. So uh, I'll catch you later. Ya noob!